was cracking. I'm Nick Danger, and you're now tuned in to the art of MV. Welcome to the channel, and thanks for watching my video. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the page, and leave something in my comment section for me. Today, we talking about the Integra 7 as I start to go down the line of the peripheral equipment that I use for my MV. I was listening to one of my favorite guys, listen to John Makes Beats, and uh, he, he mentioned uh, some new gear he got, and the Integra 7 was one of them, and he confirmed what I already knew, and that the Integra 7 is just hella underrated. It's an underrated unit. And for the MV, I think it's the it's the best thing to have if you start out with your MV. So I'm telling you, if you're new and you just got your MV, you don't have another keyboard, go get the Integra 7. The Integra 7 is going to give you not only a ton of new drum kits. I, I, I re, uh, got my bully kit back from the 5080, my, um, my the rust kit from the 5080, and all the SRX boards and the Supernatural acoustic and orchestral drum kits that come in the unit as well um and 8,000 of all the classic Jupiter JP 8000 VP you know all those classic rolling tones were built right into the unit and with the MSB LSB and the aftertouch protocols being programmed already pre pre mapped for the MV it's a no-brainer man it's a no-brainer and like I told you guys, I always called this thing, uh, this Integra Zencore Beta because of the companion app it came with, making it really easy to navigate and painless, especially if you keep it right in a good position, right? You keep that in a good position and it, it makes everything easier. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that also made this easy, an easy choice. Where you have the um, external, it's gonna have the EX, and then you can actually control the sound field by way of um, this screen right here, right? You can control the whole stereo s s surround sound field and you really can tell a difference. So we're going to get into that. Another thing that you have access to is the supernatural sounds you have access to do a little manipulation. Now, more on that later. What I want to show you is same thing as like the rolling cloud or sample packs. So you got the super saw, you got a D50 collection that you can download into here, into the settings. You got the SH-101 collection, another SH-10 TV-303, and then what do you see down here? Jupiter, Jupiter, but boom, boom, 106, Juno 106, and the Juno 60 collection. Now that's what I want to talk about amongst all of those. Now that's about 18 uh, different collections. Now when you download the settings and there's supernatural sound, you can't do this from the PCM side. If you want to do any any deep detail or, or um, adjusting or editing tones for the PCM side, it has to be done on the front panel of the um, of the unit, right? But this side, you can do here, and you have the other screen. There's the other screen that you can that you can make all the kind of adjustments that you need to make, right? And this is why the Integra Seven is your MV's best friend. So, shout out to the MPC guys, you know, enjoying their new plug-in, right? The new, the, the, the Juno type plug-in, what they call the Jura or whatever, right? But, you know, shout out to you guys, 500 presets. Uh, with the Juno 60 and the Juno 106 collection that you can download to the flash drive to the Integra, I only get about 200. I think it might, might even be like a little bit less than like 180. But that's not all. So let's take this. There's a piece of the Juno. I don't know if you guys know the history, but Roland is known for their effects. And 
a certain effect defines uh, their keyboards. It's called the four button chorus. This one right here. And the four button chorus was what they added to their keyboards to give it that distinct character. And later on when they created the Juno, it became the Juno chorus, which is altogether different. It's another iteration of it, but this is the chorus that made everything sound right, right? So let me, let me, let me strip this down to the raw sounds coming in via MIDI, right? And that'll be these sounds. So, the four button chorus, the same one that's responsible for the signature rolling sound that will later become the Juno chorus, um, is embedded in here. And what I do is I take this raw sound right here and I want to paint it a certain way. So I recorded it on the inputs. I put the four button chorus with a little bit of reverb, a little bit of the lace in, and I came up with this. That sounds a little bigger now. Right? Now, you can even go further and pull up the effects. And add the four button chorus itself on the inputs now to the entire, to the ones that are coming inside the inputs now, right? And it just gives it that buttery feel. Now that is a very subtle way to do it, but you heard the difference. If I turn them all off, let me unsolo that one. And let me turn the effect itself off. And you can hear the difference, right? Let me give you a slightly more coarse version of it. That's a coarse sound, right? Okay. Effect off, effect on. It makes everything just sound smoother. On. Off. On. And that's what defined their keyboards for a long time and made that rolling sound go, right? But the Juno chorus is a bit different. Now, why do I bring this up? Because the MVs all have the elements in there to be to do that. So that chorus that made everything so legendary is built into your MV, it's built into your Integra, and it's built into the MV1 Verse Lab, right? So the Verse Lab, let's pick, let's pick apart. All right, so that's with no chorus. Now I'm gonna add the Juno chorus, the next round. This goes eight measures, it's gonna start over, and then I'll add the Juno chorus. You hear the difference immediately. off, on, legendary Juno chorus, so that's my take on it man, the three reasons that the MV, uh, the Integra 7 is the most valuable thing you can get if you're just getting an MV man, you get banging ass drum kits as well, um, 
and you also get the two inputs and you get the Juno that everybody's already raving about, man. I mean, so anyway, that's what I got for today, man. I'm out.